Did you know that in one episode, Gumball eats and then it looks like he vomits his entire lunch? That's exactly what it seems like when we examine the sequence of appearances and disappearance of things on his tray. This happens in the episode The Fan, in the third season when Gumball and Darwin are in the cafeteria, and Sarah, who's obsessed with them, approaches. We see a weird concoction on his tray that we're not quite sure of, but it's there. When Sarah starts talking and doing a bunch of weird and strange things, we cut back to Gumball, and that green thing, which might be peas, simply disappears. Immediately after, the green food reappears on Gumball's tray. Now, tell me, doesn't it look like he put that in his mouth, chewed it, and then put it back on the tray? Well, as much as my imagination might suggest that Gumball did something gross, it's actually just an animation error and continuity mistake from the show's animators. How about we just have lunch? Ah. Yeah, sure, no problem. Can I sit here at your table? This is just the first of the 12 mistakes we've noticed in the fantastic world of Gumball. The Watersons have probably caused the most havoc in the town of Elmore, from massive disasters to fires and more. But that doesn't mean their name should be spelled incorrectly, do you agree? Because that's precisely what happens in the episode The Complaints, where the entire town thinks the family is on the verge of poverty and they go to their house with a banner displaying their name. But the name on the banner has one T missing. I think they made the banner in a hurry, so they must have forgotten the other T of the family. <laughs> okay, here goes. How do I look? Contagious. Good. The next on the list is definitely an error that happens exactly when Gumball himself asks a question that leaves everyone in doubt. In the episode The Stars of the fifth season, we see Gumball and Darwin removing their earplugs exactly when the boy's father, Richard, walks by. Right after that, Gumball asks Darwin, Dude, you don't have ears. Where did you put those? <laughs> a good question, but we don't want to know the answer. But the funny thing is that this isn't the error. Right after this question, notice that Darwin's left eyebrow simply disappears for a second. Where was it? In the same place as the earplugs? Better not dig into that. <laughs> Dude, you don't have ears. Where did you put those? Oh, so that's why they didn't work. Back to the episode The Fan, we find another mistake. But this time it involves Sarah's appearance, the crazy fan of the Watterson brothers. Besides openly practicing some bizarre kind of cannibalism, since she's a walking ice cream and she's eating an ice cream. We notice another abnormality in this not-so-normal character in this episode. Besides being a living ice cream cone, another characteristic of Sarah is the two red marks on her cheeks. But in the same cafeteria scene, we can see that these marks simply disappear for a period, and she's without them. But shortly after, they reappear. She doesn't look so good without the marks, don't you think? My final moments? What does that mean? I'm not sure I'm comfortable with you following us. Don't worry! You'll never see me. This one is definitely one of the strangest mistakes on this list. Check it out and tell me if I'm right. In the episode The Promise from the second season, we see Darwin in the bathroom. He escapes from the bathroom using toilet paper as a rope. <laughs> Seriously, that's Gumball. And at first glance, everything seems fine, but only if that window never existed. There was always a mirror in its place in all episodes before and in most after The Promise. It even appears in another episode, but in a different way. How do I get out of here now? Uh -huh. Hey kids, do I look old to you? Uh, it's hard to say. I guess that's the good thing about being fat. It fills out all the wrinkles. This leads us to another mistake. Notice that in the scene where we see Darwin using toilet paper to repel, which is already a crazy idea that doesn't end well, but that's Gumball, we see that there's no window above the bathtub. But in the episode The Lie from the third season, where Gumball invents a holiday that looks like Christmas, we see Miss Simeon observing the family through a window right above the bathtub. In other words, the window of the Watersons house can move freely around the house. That's creepy, but it's also really cool. <laughs> If you've made it this far, you're definitely a fan of the amazing world of Gumball like us. So comment below to let us know that you enjoy this awesome show, hashtag Gumball. We know that Darwin is capable of many things, but he's certainly not the Flash, moving so quickly that he disappears and reappears. We noticed this in the episode The Name, in the third season, when the Watersons drive under a truck and the top of their car is ripped off. Notice that before this happens, Darwin is sitting next to Gumball. But right after, as they nearly die and lose a part of the car, Darwin, D-I-S-A-P-P-E-A-R-S, -P -P -E when we see the car further away. But when we approach and see the scene from another angle, there's the little orange fish again, right where he always was from the beginning of the scene. He must be Elmore's version of the Flash. <laughs> Where am I? 
It really seems like strange things always happen when the family members are in that car. Well, weird things always happen in the amazing world of Gumball, but that's what makes the show so great. <laughs> But really, bizarre things happen inside that car. That's because Darwin isn't the only one who moves quickly inside of it. Even Little and Nice does that from time to time. In the episode The Vacation, we see a Nice enter the car, frightened by the strange man who is apparently helping the family. And note that she's in the front seat, sitting in the passenger seat. But in the next scene, when the strange and toothless guy looks at the three siblings, she's in the back seat with Darwin and Gumball. Now let's move on to a small animation mistake that occurs in the episode The Ghost from the first season. We're talking about the episode where Carrie uses Gumball's body to eat and becomes a sinister being that eats everything in sight. But the mistake isn't about that, even though it's strange. When we see Carrie, we see her tray of food, and among the things on it is some kind of weird beige brownish food that she tries to eat but can't. Right after her conversation with Gumball about why she goes to the cafeteria every day when she can't eat, we see that the weird food changes from brown to green. This proves two things. There was a small animation error between the scenes, and secondly, that stuff is just weird no matter what color it is. <laughs> In the episode The Uncle, we notice another small error related to continuity. When Gumball and Darwin are in the hallway, we see Gumball with a backpack on, something he doesn't usually wear at school. But at a certain moment, the two brothers have a flashback about the number 8 and when he gets angry. When they come out of the flashback, Gumball's backpack has simply disappeared, and it never comes back. In fact, as far as I can remember, it was never seen again. <laughs> In the episode The Responsible, which is in the first season of the show, we see Nicole and Richard going to school for a parent-teacher meeting. Details: Richard is wearing only his underwear. <laughs> Man, it's moments like these that make me love Gumball. Anyway, the Watterson couple is sitting on a bench in the hallway waiting to be called. Then we see Miss Simeon shooing John Banana's parents and calling them. And when we see Nicole and Richard again, they're standing, and the bench they were sitting on is simply not there anymore. It just disappeared! A small continuity error in this show that we love. Now, we're going to show you a logic error that's difficult to notice. In the episode The Remote, right at the beginning, we see the front of the Watersons' house, okay? Keep this image in your mind. But as the episode progresses and night falls, when we see the family literally fighting over the remote control, something interesting happens. A streetlight pole simply appears out of nowhere near Mr. Robinson's house. It's used to illuminate the scene of the fight over the fake remote control. Tell me the truth, you've never noticed this one before, have you? If you've made it to the end of this video, you deserve a bonus. So we've got a bonus mistake just for you. Remember the bathroom air with the window changing places and disappearing? In the episode The Flower, something similar happens, but in Principal Brown's office, when Gumball, Leslie, and Penny are there. Notice that at the beginning of the scene, there's a glass window in the office door. But when we look from another perspective, that little window mysteriously disappears. And shortly after, it reappears. A small error for our list. These were the 12 mistakes you didn't notice in Gumball. But your fun journey is just beginning. We prepared two super cool videos for you to watch more great stories. And I have to tell you another secret. The first video is really awesome. Doubt it? Watch it and then come back here and tell me in the comments.